understand, as you stand here now, do you think your grandmother stole your money? Yeah, she definitely stole it. Well, is that because you think the fact that she took it out of your bag means that she stole it? Yeah, I think that means that she well, stole th it. Well, that isn't what the law says about stealing. You have to improve that she intended to take the money for her own personal use or to use it in some other way. Okay. Do you have any proof that she took the money for her personal use? No. I have there, text is there any proof? Oh, well, she has on text messages. You have proof that... that I have th a few that... text messages from my niece saying that... Oh, yeah, we actually ...no do. one wants to spend his money when yeah. I told her to tell your grandma, let's meet up so we can show her the proof. But I'm trying to decide whether or not it is your grandmother's responsibility to give you back yes. money that she gave to somebody else if I believe her testimony that she was acting as a grandmother trying to figure this out. Yeah, but she wasn't acting as a grandmother. She was acting as a thief. Of, as a thief. What were you going to show us? You, you said okay. You well, text. I had what? What, text what messages it? from my niece and and my mom. My mom was telling me about what he needed to do to give the money. Do you have proof that she kept some of the money? I was pleading, yeah. I begging them to contact yeah, so us yeah. so we can meet up to show proof. And then here is some of the... You want to read them? No. Oh, okay. I want to know okay. how those text messages prove she kept some of the money. It's really not... Because I don't want to hear you. I don't want to okay. hear about her saying But it's really not proof. saying that she literally spent some of the money on her own. She's not saying that. They okay. keep saying that they don't have the money. Okay. That my mom kept all the money. Even Do you my... believe that she kept all the money? No, I believe she probably gave her some money and she kept some for herself. It's just a... They just took his money. I feel like I'm sorry, Rory, that that happened. And I'm sorry, Nisha, but what can I say? It's done. What can I do? Y'all Y'all want me to pay your money back? I will. To keep confusion down. You shouldn't have took it. Right, I shouldn't have, but I did. So what can I say? And I didn't steal it. You I did. Gave it to her. No, I didn't. Okay, again, you can have a seat, Renisha. Okay, thank, thank you. you. All I, right. we, we really do appreciate you, okay. you acknowledging that, Ms. Rivers. Okay, thank you. We're going to excuse the parties while we deliberate in this matter. Okay. Thank you guys so much. This court is again in session. Mr. Williams, Ms. Rivers, we had a very heated discussion. And after a considerable amount of deliberation, we have reached a verdict. It is not unanimous. First of all, all three of us agreed, Ms. Rivers, that you thought you were doing the right thing. This is not a criminal case. We do not have to decide whether you willfully and maliciously stole anything. And so throwing about the terms theft and stealing are really beside the point. This is a civil case, and all we are called upon to decide is whether you took something that you did not have a right to take, and whether the plaintiff is entitled to it back. Judge Tawelda and I believe that you did not have a right to take the money. It belonged to the plaintiff. You may have felt differently. You may have had good reasons for thinking differently. But at the end of the day, the money was his, and you did not have a right to take it. Judge Corriero disagreed with us. He believed, sir, that you are entitled to have your money back, but not from your grandmother. Had it been up to Judge Corriero, he would have said you are essentially suing the wrong person, she gave the money or most of it to another party, and that you would need to recover it from that person. But again, that's the dissent. So the verdict of the court here today is in favor of the plaintiff in the full amount requested, $4,000. And though we do not have the power to do so, the best thing we could hope to see is that this is the first step to repairing a relationship. Yes. So the verdict of the court is in favor of the plaintiff for $4,000.